Good morning. Welcome, everyone. The committee will come to order. We are here today to start off the September session by considering four nominations, two for the Department of the Interior and two for the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. Our interior nominees are Joe Balash to be the Assistant Secretary for Land and Minerals Management and Ryan Nelson to be the solicitor. Our FERC nominees are Rich Glick and Kevin McIntyre, who is slated also to be designated as the Commission's Chairman upon confirmation. I want to thank all four of our nominees for their willingness to serve or continue serving our country. Each of you has been nominated for a critical leadership position at an agency or a department that, well, it might not be obvious to all, are, are very, very important and, and certainly have the power to affect millions of American lives. As we've noted here many times before, FERC has significant reach into the national economy. According to the Congressional Research Service, the value of energy commodities flowing through FERC-regulated wires and pipes is approximately 3% of the nation's GDP. Of course, what those commodities go on to fuel and power make up an even larger component of our broader economy. Just before the August state work period, we approved two FERC nominees and restored a working quorum for the commission. After six months with just one confirmed commissioner, the nominees before us today will provide this agency with a full complement of five members. They have their work cut out for them as they address... The committee will come to order. As I was saying, the FERC will have their work cut out for them. They have to address a significant backlog of pending matters, but with them, FERC will be back up to speed with a full roster. I am confident that Mr. McIntyre will be a capable chairman upon his confirmation. He has significant experience and strong qualifications for the role. And Mr. Glick who is Senator Cantwell's general counsel here on the committee, is certainly well known to many of us. I will let Senator Cantwell speak to his background and qualifications, but I personally want to thank you for your service to this panel, um, including your role in, in shaping our bipartisan energy bill and many other matters. I, I truly appreciate the working relationship that we have had and what you have contributed to the committee. Given the extraordinary scope of the Interior Department's responsibilities, including its administration of more than a quarter of the land in our nation and about two-thirds of the land in Alaska, we also recognize that it is well past time that Secretary Zinke and Deputy <coughs> Secretary Bernhardt have the help that they need. I welcome the nomination of Ryan Nelson of Idaho, a Westerner and a seasoned general counsel. Mr. Nelson is returning to Washington, D.C to resume his already notable public service, this time as solicitor. Senator Risch will have a few words uh, as he will introduce him shortly, so I will focus my own introduction on our fourth nominee, and that's Mr. Joe Balash of the great state of Alaska. I'm delighted to have uh, Joe before the committee today. He is a fellow Alaskan, um, which should be enough to convince everyone to just vote yes on his nomination. Uh, Mr. Balash hails from North Pole, not the North Pole, but from North Pole, Alaska. He is currently serving as Senator Sullivan's uh, Chief of Staff. He previously ran Alaska's Department of Natural Resources. I have worked closely with him in both of these roles, and I truly cannot say enough about his understanding and, and certainly <coughs> knowledge uh, of these issues. I think he will be an excellent Assistant Secretary overseeing the BLM, the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management, and several other key agencies within the interior. Senator Sullivan did want to be here today to introduce uh, Mr. Balash, but that wasn't possible uh, due to a death in his family. So I will read a short statement that Senator Sullivan wrote before submitting his full statement for the record. Senator Sullivan says, Joe Balash currently serves as my chief of staff, and while we are sorry to lose him, the job that Secretary Zinke has tasked him with is one that I believe he is uniquely qualified for. Joe was my deputy commissioner of Alaska's Department of Natural Resources, and then he became the commissioner of DNR. Alaska's DNR man manages one of the largest portfolios of land, water, oil, gas, renewables, timber, and minerals in the world. 
Responsible development of Alaska's resources requires working closely with all groups that have a stake in Alaska's lands and waters, including environmentalists, conservationists, hunters, tribes, energy companies, and citizens. Joe understands how to work to develop our resources, while always understanding that our lands sustain us and stringent environmental safeguards are absolutely necessary for all Americans. Joe Balash is a hard worker, a great father and husband, and a good friend. I hope that this committee can vote him out favorably to be considered by the full Senate. Well, Joe, like Senator Sullivan, I certainly look forward to having you at the Department of Interior. I know a lot of Alaskans, a lot of Westerners feel the same way. So again, thank you for your willingness to step up in this capacity. Uh, now to a little bit of the business. For members who will have questions uh, for our nominees, I will be here for as long as possible today. I'm bouncing in and out of committees, as I know other members are. But if any members have additional questions after the hearing, questions for the record will be due at the close of business today. And then finally, I would advise members to be prepared to report these nominees as soon as possible. And with that, I turn to Senator Cantwell for her opening remarks. And after that, we will have brief remarks from Senator Risch to introduce Ryan Nelson. And then we'll swear in all the witnesses. 